and honored guests. As this evening's Toastmaster, my role is to serve as your meeting host. And I'll be guiding you through the agenda. I will introduce the speakers, as well as maintain smooth transition between the different parts of the meeting. We have a spectacular meeting for you tonight, and our theme for the meeting is Best Christmas Movies. The word of the day is respect. And when you guys hear the word respect, we typically will snap our fingers, and that represents um, that we are recognizing that word of the day. So whenever somebody says it during the meeting, then please uh, also snap your fingers in recognition of the word respect. Thank you. <laughs> Go. According to the Oxford Dictionary, uh, the word respect can be used as a noun or as a verb. And as a noun, respect refers to a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or their achievements. Respect also refers to uh, re due regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. For example, you might say, the director had a lot of respect for Douglas as an actor. And as a verb, respect means to admire someone or something deeply as a result of their abilities, qualities, or their achievements. For example, she was respected by everyone she worked with. And so the reason that I chose the theme Christmas movies, best Christmas movies, uh, was because of the time of the year, obviously, but then also because Christmas movies tend to teach us valuable lessons. And those lessons typically apply to all of us, no matter what our religion or what generation we may be from. And you, you might remember Christmas movies that have encouraged you to treat others with respect by applying the golden rule. Who knows what the golden rule is? Do you guys, are you familiar with the golden rule? Raise your yes. hand if you know what the golden rule is. Excellent, a good majority of you. All right, so can, can anybody actually say it out loud? The golden rule? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Excellent. Oh, we have a guest. Santa Claus. All right. So you may also remember some Christmas movies that inspired you to believe in magic and to value your families and friends over money and physical things. For the most part, there are three different genres of Christmas movies. I divided them into humorous, serious, and animated. And most of them teach a lesson or provide great family entertainment. So some of the uh, some of the all-time favorite humorous Christmas movies have been A Christmas Story, Elf, Scrooge, Jingle All the Way. I personally like Trading Places. You may not think of that as a Christmas movie, but one of my favorites. Yeah. Love Actually is another great one. Can you remember watching some of these around the holidays? Yes. Home yeah. Alone. Oh, yeah. that's a good one, too. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, then there's a lot of serious Christmas movies as well. Uh, some more well-known serious Christmas movies that you might remember are Miracle on 34th Street, It's a Wonderful Life, A Christmas Carol, and Gift of the Magi. Uh, do you guys remember some of these watching like with your families? Yes. Oh, yeah. Excellent. And you may have realized that you were learning a lesson, uh, you may or may not have, uh, because sometimes they kind of plan them in there and they put it like a story so it makes it more fun to learn that lesson. And there have also been a lot of animated movies uh, about Christmas and you may have seen them like A Charlie Brown Christmas, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Frosty the Snowman. How many of you have seen all four? <laughs> a few hands, excellent. All right. So every year, more Christmas movies are released, and people are usually open to seeing them, but the classics continue to be played over and over, and pretty much throughout every generation. And I think it's because of, of the lessons that they teach, 
and they continue to stand the test of time. So I hope you agree with me on that. And uh, now we're going to introduce our general evaluator. So, all right. Um,